Great, I had it for lunch. All right, chat. My yeah, boy. Yeah, we just changed something on. Oh. All right. Who? This is not what we're looking for. I'm just kidding. What? You want me to use the balls? Not right now, but like, I want them. Boy, you guys are so. You're so corny, dude. And that was Tom's idea. You're so I'm corny. I'm throw it at him. Hey, Kels. What's up, Can you move that place for me? Hey, hey, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's up, Kels? What's up, man? What's up, Trey? You good? What's up? All right. What's up, bro? All right. So, chat. We got MGK Trippy here. Uh, this is your first time meeting him? Yes, yeah, hello. Yeah, I've never seen these before. I feel like you guys look alike. Me and him? <laughs> nah, other people said that about me. A little bit, a little bit. Do you guys know a little bit about what X does or nah? Give me his. He, uh, he, he, he's a streamer as well on Kick. You know, I moved yeah. to Kick from Twitch. Yeah. And he, him and I, we got this thing kicked on on, uh, on lock right now. So Fuck this yeah. is like my no, duo. I'm not kidding. I've, I've taken pictures with, with people thinking that. I was you. Tall, skinny, blonde yeah. people, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, I get what you I get this. I'm chilling, bro. How you been? Good. Chilling? I, you guys just dropped the single. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's a whole album yeah. coming out. I would say it's like, I mean, we call it a project. We don't have like a specific word. Yeah, like an ash or something. Yeah, you could ash it on. Let me think. You're not, you're done drinking that drink, right? Yeah, no, no. Let's just ash on the floor. The floor? Okay. It's going to burn on fire. Okay, okay. Can it's wood. Okay. Yeah. Um. Oh, Anyways, not done with it. wait. So what? You done with that? That's oh no no you uh, you want something in there? Oh that's true. No you were saying no, 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 Quebec Canada. You're from Quebec. Yeah oh, yeah okay okay. You heard me? What? I say you said you, I was supposed to. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. Ash in the Celsius. Uh, okay. You can you can. Confused. He started drinking. Wait you you drank his ash drink? Wait did he already ash in it? Yes. I did. You drank it? First walk in. Yeah I did. You drank that? Yeah I mean it's what it is. Um, that's crazy, dude. I want another pouch. I do it. Okay, where's the pouch at? Do you guys want a pouch? What's that? What the fuck is it's, that? It's if you put it in your gum. It's not. I swear to God, it's not drugs or any nicotine. But you put this in your gum, mm -hmm. and it goes right into your bloodstream, and you feel like you're on like euphoric. You get like this caffeinated feeling. It's caffeine. Only caffeine in here. Yeah, what's wrong? Do you get them on? bro? Bro, my nostrils feel weird. I don't know what just happened. I'm gonna watch out. Yeah, yeah. Come on, you don't want to get in on it with us? You might like it, bro. I'm on shrooms. Right now? Mm -hmm. Are you too? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, how many shrooms did you do? I just microdosed like some little chocolate. Like three, four pieces. How many? Yeah. What's the equivalence to grams in that, do you know? I don't. I don't know how much uh, shrooms was in the bar. I just know it's a good bar. Oh, my God. Was well, it one of those bars that like, it, it tells you like the, the amounts on it or whatever? Yeah, they tell you the amount that shit, yeah. I just didn't read it. So you just basically take a few pieces at once? Mm-hmm. Got you. I mean, you post a micro dose, and, like, you keep taking pieces. Have you ever done, like, a crazy dose of shrooms? Yeah. You have? Yeah, I called Juicy J one time. This is, like, 10 years ago. I took, we took a bunch of shrooms. We were still living in Cleveland. And, uh, you remember when Juicy J had that, like, trip, that trippy phase? When he was, like, everything was, like, all trippy. Mm-hmm. Um... So we took all these shrooms, and when the wall started melting, I never had the experience where like things started, That's crazy. you know, warping. So wall started melting. I get in this bed, and the bed turned into a. <laughs> and what the fuck? The whole house was tripping too, and so everyone was like, "What do we do? What do we do?" Yeah. And and at the time, like the only person I was talking that trippy was Juicy. So I, we were like, "We gotta call Juicy J," and so we called Juicy, and we're like. Bro, this is, I, he barely knew me at this time, you know, like, so, but we call him <laughs> up. We're like, bro, we need help. Like, we don't know where you are. He goes, it sounds like you guys are on Shroom Moon. <laughs> and he just, like, walked us through our whole trip. God. Hung up the phone. Have you ever done shrooms? Nope. I've never done it either. Bro, also, I don't stand staying on your side, bro. What? Oh, wait, this is food. It was food. What? I was eating earlier. <laughs> What, what, it's not shit. What did you eat today? What are you fucking talking about? I had uh, beans. No, no, you did not. Yeah, I did. Beans. I had chi chicken and beans. Chicken, rice, and beans. Oh, okay. Because oh, I've been on my yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I, I lost uh, yeah, yeah, 20. Yeah, yeah. You saw yeah, it? Yeah. I've been on my yeah. bro. I've been on my So, we got to get you in the gym, X. Yeah, I should. Soon. Matt said he wants to work you, work with you. So. Who? You Matt, oh, oh, yeah, the trainer? Yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah. Hey, I got to ask you a question because I always wonder this. Yeah. So you're from, wait, what part of Ohio are you Cleveland. from? And, and where are you from? I'm from Kenton. How far is Cleveland from, Ke wait, Kenton? 40 minutes, like a, like, like an hour. Yeah. 45 minutes. 40 so minutes. how long have you guys known each other? Almost like eight years. Damn. Yeah. 
Did like, you know about him early on? Yeah. Like in, okay. Yeah, yeah, we were with each other like as soon as he started blowing, like blowing up. Okay, Damn. Diddy. Damn. I was just fucking. Wait, what does the no Diddy thing mean? <laughs> I know what's going on with Diddy, but what does no Diddy mean? Like no cap? Is that what it is? Yeah. No Diddy. X. So what's that? This is just That's marijuana. Oh, okay. Do you yeah. I don't I don't smoke weed. Never in your life. I mean, like when I was young, like twice. Do they do? I, I don't. I don't do it with it. It makes me fucking black out. They it's did. Really bad. They did it back in uh, Canada, or no? Because it's illegal. Out Way there. back when, yeah. Is it it's still legal? It's legal then. This shit's burning my gum. <coughs> you know, you know a bunch of uh, Canadian cities. Oh yeah. I toured Canada one time. They they did like a twenty six city tour for me one time, and I never. Okay, there there, there are not many that that many cities. Yeah, there's not that many fam, good ones in USA. I'm telling you, there is because I went to places like Medicine Hat and Red Deer and oh places that, like White Horse type shit. Like, you know about those places? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, uh, the population had to be the amount of the capacity of the concert. Oh, right? that's sick though. Yeah, that means the people really <laughs> care, right? I guess. I mean, they showed up, but I. Was never thought that there was twenty six oh, cities. Oh, is it there. good energy though? People have good energy there. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh, that's really, sick. Yeah, yeah. You got. I want to go to Quebec. I want to visit. Oh yeah. Yeah, I feel like I because Lico's from Quebec. You know, Lico's my mod. Your yeah, mod. He lives, he, he lives close by. Yeah. And you guys speak so like specific that nobody else speaks like. Yeah. So. You play. You play uh, video games. Yeah, yeah. All the time. Yeah. Wait, is this a is this a tattoo right here? The red line. Yeah. Yeah. You got. You just got your chest what done, games right? You uh huh. Play? What was All that? of them. Did that hurt? I do like variety. It's called sure, it was the worst any game I, I play. All the new games oh, I play. That whole chest. Yeah. yeah. I mean, a lot of people think I went to sleep for it. Uh, the you did. No, I would never in my life. Do like, that. I would do yes, that. Or Overwatch or fucking Fortnite, whatever. I would be mad at you. Why, Why? <laughs> bro? You did your entire chest. Did you see his tattoos? X. You saw his tat. I played Halo. Early. I mean, is this? Oh, shit, which one? No, but he got it all around. Everything. Yeah. That shit is crazy. I think like packs that let you with tattoos. You it's part of it is that you earn it. Reach. And I feel like you gotta, oh, that's you sick. Have to be aware I think all of them are growing up. Get all the armor. Did you know, tats? Oh shit. Yeah. How many tats Same do you have? I fuck with this. Whatever this is right here. This is fire. This is fire. Like Look. To me. And then you know how they try to reach? make a new one after Reach. And oh like, yeah, okay. yeah. Nah, it was it was pretty bad. Yeah, it was bad. But it was like they they used elements of what was good of that. Yeah. It's caffeine pouches. Oh, it's all the good stuff. Yeah. For me, Halo 3, Halo Reach was like peak. Halo 2 and 3. Yeah. Halo Reach is the best like Halo. Halo. Halo Reach and Halo 3. Yeah. Halo Reach is the best Halo. For yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. Like, Reach gave the depth of the inheritor? Of course. No, you were. Of course. Bro, I was, bro, I was in Halo, bro, and Destiny. Have you guys ever played Destiny? I haven't played it, but I know it. Yeah. Bro, Destiny, because after. I haven't played Destiny. After, but Destiny 2 is trash. But Halo, bro, Halo Reach was really like that. Wait, what's your favorite game all time? Probably N64 Smash Bros. I feel Bros. like I was mad. You're a Smash guy? I fucked with I N64 Smash Bros. Bros. Yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't rock with it as it moved through the stages. It became too... Complicated. Over, overstimulating. You know, you know when True. N, you know when N64, uh, you have to take the game out and go... Yeah, yeah. I see it all the time. I yeah. like... I mean, you know, that whole era, I fucked with Star Fox. I like all that shit. But um, I like... Probably my favorite game of all time was Vice City. Yeah. Shit was hard. Like when you could sell dope out of the ice cream truck, like steal, go to the car uh, dealership. I just liked that whole. I liked all the missions. And that was that was my. Yeah, bro. G man, GTA Six is about to be crazy too. I can't wait for GTA yeah. Six. Well, you play a lot of N sixty four. I used to. I don't really play games like, anymore. Yeah, but like like Diddy Kong Racing, you play that. Yeah, I love Diddy Kong. Oh, it's so, it's so nice. Yeah. And um, you guys ever play Mario Party too? Yeah. Such yeah. a fun game. Yeah, I mean, my brother would like I fight. Like I like to, I like uh, I like the new Zelda. That's you play you play Zelda? Absolutely, that's like one of the I, that that when I got that I was like holy this is this might be the best. That's game what you play right now. Yeah. What do you play, Trip? Halo. I play right Halo. now. I play you play the Diablo. new Halo? I play Elder Scrolls Online. I play Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. I play a lot of games. Why you got ones in here, bro? Strip strip club money. You ain't got no strippers in here. Nah, I was, I was getting right with sexy. Oh, God Woo! damn! I was getting right with sexy right back. I, don't lie, I can't let a stack of money sit nowhere. I got like post traumatic stress. <laughs> from, <laughs> from what? I just like to throw money when I see it. Yeah, I feel you on that. I uh, I what's it called though? Uh, yeah, me and sexy just did the stream. It was good. You you guys ever be sexy before? 
I watched her in Cleveland like a couple weeks ago. She's really awesome. Yeah, she's fire. I really like her. She's she's definitely uh she's definitely top three she's, in my opinion. She's got some some energy to her. The other other rapper girls don't have. She's, she's got like, that she's energy. Got some energy that I really enjoy. No, like, she's like seeing. yeah, nah. She she's got that. She's got that. She's like that fun energy. Like she's like pure energy. I like that. It's like it's really cool. It's refreshing to see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. What a uh, what kind of weed you smoking on? Blue Nerds. It's called Blue Nerds. Mm -hmm. Sativa, indica. What is it? It's both. It's Hybrid. Mainly indica dominant. It's like a lemon cherry cross. You smoke weed? All the fucking time. That's why I love doing sessions with Trippy because he just leaves these bags behind. And after the sessions, and I'm just like, because they roll these just like baseball bats, bro. Bro, I get so much anxiety when I smoke weed. It makes me freak the f out. And these are massive. Yeah, those are, that's, that's real deal. God. Right there. <laughs> how many, how many, uh, that shit lit, I mean, bro, it's the, it's the size of the fucking thing. It's longer, honestly. God. Yeah, I gotta ask, like the more you smoke, you get, is it like linear, like you get, you get higher the more you smoke? Type of thing? I stop you... getting high, bro, I'm gonna oh. be honest, like I, I smoke all the time, I can't get high to save my uh, life. So what do you smoke for, just to kind of like? It's just a habit with, with your hands, like I, I gotta, I gotta do something. Like right now, I'm just, I'm trying to not smoke 80 blunts, blunts today. today, you know what I'm saying? Chat, y'all smoke weed, yes or no? I had to quit that. I used to be a stoner, but I had to quit that. I, uh, no. What do you act like when you're high? I've never seen you high before. Yeah, bro, I told you I did, like twice. Not, bro. I, I can't do drugs. Well, I used to. Like on lean or something? I want yeah, but I kicked the cup. Yeah, I, mean, it's crazy. I had to kick the I cup. I gotta smoke. I need to chill. Or so what if, you, what if you don't smoke? What happens? I'd be trippy. Yeah, yeah. I get furious. I'd be having to chill the fuck You get out. mad as I'm gonna get irritable as fuck. God damn. I gotta take other medicine to balance that shit out. It's just everything on 10 if you're mad on 10. Damn. If what if you don't see? Oh, sorry, I had to tell you off. Oh, uh, you good, Toy? If you stop smoking for a while, does it like balance out? Do you become like normal again or like not irritable? Or you never done it before? Yeah, I haven't really went. What? You know, I try. It's funny, like, I haven't really went a day without smoking weed in 50. Fifteen years, maybe more than that. Oh yeah. And uh, even the week, that I, <coughs> the week that I had tried was a week that uh, we were like finishing album and like being in the studio with this fool God damn. and trying to stop smoking weed is not <laughs> like that. The first thing he did, he walked in the room. You remember when I'm talking about? You walked in the room. You go <sighs> through the blunt and shit. And I was like, I might as well just damn give up. So how long have you guys been working on the project for? Like a year and a half. Yeah, because I think we, oh, all, we, we always like, <coughs> we always link it to You guys know that? I have a question, because you guys are both from Ohio. You guys know that one meme um, for Ohio? Ohio yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's real. It's real like that. You know why it's real? Because I'll tell you this. Go watch movies. Bro, how many times does a movie drop? Do movies talk about Cleveland? Like... I'm from Cleveland, so I notice it every time. A but lot. if you watch movies a or lot. TV uh, shows, the, amount. the jokes or like, the, yeah. I want someone to put a compilation of that together. It's weird, and I want to know like the theory on why it's always Cleveland. Like any mo major movie, TV show, anything, a joke is always Cleveland. Yeah, mm. proportionally coming to other cities for sure. So much references. For you sure. know what I'm talking about? Yeah, they 100%. don't say Chicago. They don't say New York. I was it's watching a movie the other day from 19. And they say Cleveland. It's like watching they Finding Dory, bro. They say Cincinnati, Ohio. Finding Dory, so they go to random. Cleveland. All this shit, bro. I don't, I don't. There's got to be something like all this, bro, the uh, the Illuminati conspiracy watch, shit that they put. They got to do one on the Cleveland Ohio, mention bro. in Ohio or God, in the movies. God, yeah, not nah. especially in the beginnings of the movies. Mm -hmm. Like that's when they mainly just say something about Ohio. Or, I don't yeah. know, bro. It's so weird, bro. It's like weird. It's how far? Weird. How far is Akron? Because I'm, you know, I love LeBron. So yeah. How far is Akron? Same, from, same. Forty five like, minutes. It's all like we're all together Cincinnati's the only one that's a little far that's, like the five that's where four. Speed's from Speed's from Cincinnati oh, okay shout out Speed shout yeah. out Ohio mm -hmm. no Speed? no I oh. mean I know him like I know, oh I know yeah on the internet yeah, yeah. yeah so where, where do you live at now? you still live over there? back and forth you know like, okay, my yeah. kid goes to school in Cleveland and oh, I'm that's my, cool. my coffee shop there and, you know what I'm saying oh you have a coffee shop? yeah yeah what? that's yeah. chill Why, what made you like want to open up a coffee shop? 
Uh, I stopped doing cocaine and fell in love with coffee. Damn. Yeah. You know, like, you search for highs. You know what I mean? Yo, I know. Trust me. Yeah. It's, it's like what you're doing with this. Like, you search for high. You want to make sure you get a clip. Like, you know, like... So it's you, true. No, literally what he said is true. Yeah. Like, so I call it the 27 Club, and it basically, like, all the drinks, anything, it's all centered around entertainers or musicians or artists who died at 27. So there's also, like, education with it, too. Like, you know, just on some, you know, food and thought type. Good yeah. shit on quitting yeah. that, bro, and, yeah. you know, doing, you know, coffee yeah. and stats. Yeah, that's sure. It's big, bro. Yeah. Yeah, man, that, uh, that coke can get... Out of hand. I've seen people like go insane off that. Shit, yeah, you know? bro. That's it's fucked. I should have like dimmed your light for real. I feel like it dimmed mine. Like I watched my whole career turn around when I stopped. Mm. Literally, like if you go back to 2020 and you watch the trajectory of like MGK shit, it went. It was. It was always kind of going like this, but it went from this to like this. Mm. My so you got better when you did two game. What no. the fuck did he just say? <laughs> no. Oh, 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 he, he got said when he stopped cocaine. Yes, that's what he said. Oh, bro, I thought you were saying like, oh, my boy, I got on cocaine, it's things went this fucking way up. This is how I talked when I was on cocaine. Yeah, like that, yeah, yeah. People yeah. said that about my, my me. Boy <laughs> my, my, boy, uh, my boy X got that energy. My boy X got that energy. I don't mind. I mean, I'm on two pouches in the fucking Celsius, of course. The second pouch yeah. started hitting me, too. Yeah, I'm fucking tweaking. You, it feel, from it the you feel the pouch? I could feel it like cutting my gums open and shit. I know. It's, um, it's the blood. I drink so much coffee, and I don't know. Oh, so you're, you're in, your tolerance is yeah, for yeah. caffeine, too. Yeah. See, I'm glad I didn't do that. See, this is why. Yeah. Because now you need to be cracked out. Gums bleeding and shit. <laughs> Hell no, I'm I'm smoking. Then that's gonna get in the wound and shit. White people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you black now? Oh my God, here we go. Yeah, here we go. My gum is actually starting to hurt. You're fifty percent guilty. <laughs> well, you're you're actually half black. Fam, no, no, this is when I called him on Facetime. I'm like, yo, Trent, check the tats. And he bro, goes, show I them. knew you were black. Show yeah. them, bro. Oh boy, fifty percent guilty. Oh my god, I, I don't, I don't, I, don't entertain, I do not entertain this, this joke. By the way, wait. So okay, so the chest is also, and the back is also. Yeah. Holy guilty. <laughs> that I'm is not, guilty. I'm not, laughing, I'm not laughing at Trippy's jokes. Bro, that had over her. At. Come on, bro. I know you don't want to... Yeah. That, that it hurt? Cal, I'm it, telling you it hurt. It okay. Was, it was awful. Man, and how long was it, it again? Was 70 hours. Man, 70 man. hours of... Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, just pure pain? Stop making jokes. Go, bro, I, we're dead in that joke today. It's done. Bro, okay. Have you ever played 2K? Um, oh, really my God. I, 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 I didn't know about this, but oh, I, I found out about this from the internet because they memed the out of me with the 2k shit they were like he got a mean up down left right x or whatever because bro I, I came up off 2k so i played it i used to get my my player tatted just literally like that um which is nuts because you didn't know oh uh, brother you, oh wait are you talking like uh about my player or whatever when you make it yes yeah. bro every time i play the game i buy the game i, I do my face in real life where i take a picture or whatever yeah I upload face it, scan yeah and you just get you Full black face. <laughs> yeah. My whole dude's white. He gets a black face every time. <laughs> like, I, I don't know why he does that. The problem is so stupid. <laughs> nah, bro, because the face scan was so shit. It's good now. It'll work no, now. No, it's not. No, it's better. You're bugging. It's so fucking Because the bad. iPhone's camera improved. Oh, man. My, my, I still get it this year. I still got the same thing. God. And how long did it take to heal? Uh, I wore a turtleneck hiding this from everybody for about three months. Or about, it took me, you know, I did it in about a month. It was, to be honest, this process was supposed to take a year and a half because of the amount of ink you that put boy, in. That boy, he, he knew I was on the phone with him like every day, low key. Yeah, he's definitely disciplined. Yeah, I was wearing crazy. Uh, crazy. If you look back, like from like November to February, Three I was months. always wearing turtlenecks. turtlenecks. <laughs> Even in the studio with him, just in case like someone, like one of the homies was like getting a video. Like I always was in the turtle. I thought it was awful. Bro. Yo, can I ask? Yeah. What, what does it mean, like, like to you? What, was it like an inspiration it, or something? It's a good question. Yeah. yeah, of course. If you don't mind, though, like, I, I guess, like, I keep that one personal. Yeah, no, that's good. But, oh, yeah, sorry if I but, Yeah, no, I, I don't, I don't want to seem like that's not a legitimate question because I, I feel you. I think, like, I got to, yeah, it was, it was a. L let me ask it in another way. Um, well, is there any tattoos under that you, you, you yes. were like, oh, I'm, I'm good covering that, whatever. Yes. Oh, that's good. Okay, yeah. that's, it's like two birds, one stone type thing. I got to ask you a question real quick. 
the black rag on the on the cover of our yeah, album. Yeah. What's the significance of it? Oh, it's the EST. It's like everyone yeah, everyone stand yeah, together, yeah. everyone's still together. That like the black the flag, flag is the, flag is the flag opposite back. of the yeah, uh, yeah it's the opposite the, of the white it's flag. It's power. It's, it's you know what I'm saying. It's it's never. Uh, well, because a white flag means surrender. Exactly. It's never so you're not surrendering. Surrender. Yeah, yeah. And I see you know obviously like in this game, you know Trippy's been in it so long. I've been in it so long. You you really want to see people stop. Like people get sick. They they. They big you up until it's time for you to come down, and it's they feel like it's their job to make you come down, and it's more entertaining to watch that. I watch that happen all the time. Like, you know, I watch people, even with you, bro. I watch people, definitely with him. The whole underground, oh my god, bro, trippy, whatever. As soon as this fool gets that love, that on a mainstream level, I mean, it's like, oh, he's left the building. This dude, burn this shit down. Yeah, I get that, but they don't understand like people like us are so normal and I think that they see um, they see they misread the flashing lights not knowing that we really are introverted and like self-conscious and like our self esteems are kind of dependent on those people who are bigging us up and so when they tear they us down bullshit like, is, bro. They don't know Damn, or that they just don't know shit bro you know? everybody's just so discombobulated we're all against each other you know how that shit go I um do you remember three years ago when I was in your movie yeah, of course. Good morning. Yeah, of course. It's just crazy, bro. I remember that. I got to spend the entire day with you, bro. It's like we had a lot of good talks. And I just remember, like, that was a time where you kind of saw me kind of space out. And you said some shit to me that always sticks to me kind of, like, I, when I think about it. It's like it's like when, you, when you're in this shit, it's, it's like a marathon. You kind of, like, broke it down in a way. But I remember, but bro, I was, like, that whole shoot that it was at the airport. Mm -hmm. I was there the entire day. And I just saw, like, how you take call after call. And that shit was, like kind of motivating you know what i was calling about was we had uh book, booked dennis rodman we had booked you and we had booked dennis rodman and um we needed an athlete for that day and my friend who was also directing it with me he had dennis rodman tattooed on his arm oh shit so we saw his arm we were like oh we should just call him oh man. and so i was calling dennis rodman and while i was on the phone was because the driver we had got him like a rolls royce to drive him from orange county to the set and the driver had called us and he was like smoking a cigar in my Rolls Royce. <laughs> Classic. I'm, I'm pulling over, like, I'm not, bro. I'm like, you let Dennis Rodman do whatever the fuck you want. Like, Just fucking get him here, I'll pay you whatever the fuck. <laughs> and also, we had shut down the whole entire Van Nuys airport for your scene. Yeah, I remember that. And so, like, everything was really time dependent. And I had lied to the studio who had given me the money to shoot this movie and said I had a plan and that all these people were coming. He wasn't locked in. Dennis Rodman wasn't uh, locked in. Like, no one was actually coming. That's it. It was a day of, like, Oh, on the, on the fly Bro, shit, pull yeah. Up, yeah. Pull up, pull up. The whole movie was like that, and it was like, you know, fresh out of COVID, and, you know, I, I kind of wanted to make, like, a stoner comedy that was a turn your brain off and just laugh at, yeah. you know. Is, is that how you operate a lot? Like, on the fly shit, just, just, just send it, just, like, n n not like a full plan thing? Do you like that? That's him. Yeah, that's what he does? Mm -hmm. His process? I that's kind of how I am. I think so. Like, you that's are. Why You're, like, literally, like, on the fly. Yeah, I, if I have a plan, I get, I get caught up in, like, expectations and whatever and disappointment whatever whatever I think I'm better at executing you know yeah I think that's why like you know that that's that was my first lesson with the doing a collab project with anybody you know what I mean because we all just we me and him just been like super tight for near a decade and so like coming together and doing an actual project is it over now is it, is it finished yeah it comes out tonight at midnight okay yeah uh, what time is it now so Close. Okay, we, should, we should play a song or something. Can I airdrop a song? Yeah, come on. Let me see. Right. What happens when you release an album? Do you like tour afterwards? Is there like something planned or whatever? Like uh. Yeah, like, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna announce two two surprise shows to start. Good. Yeah. You go, so you guys doing a tour, or no? We'll start start with just doing shows. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this, yeah, this, yeah. Like this was something that we made from a soul level. Like this is like th this had to come out via somebody and it shows us like it was just something amongst times where there's monday through thursday music and then there's friday through sunday music right this is you know me and trippy a lot of times make monday through thursday music like that people can hold on to yeah, it is genuine like, yeah we made it because we friends you feel me like we got genuine love for each other that's my brother like that's sick we really rock with each other we've been friends for years like 
and this shit. That's dope. It's like just real, like emotional that we really felt, like, you know. And we put our hearts into this work, and I, I love it. I think it's a vibe. Sure. I, I get nostalgia vibes. So. Wait, I think in our hearts the whole time we were making it, we were thinking about X. You know, we were thinking about Juice, like thinking about Pete. Hell yeah. Like that was on the first song that we had did about Lost Boys. Lost Boys was very inspired by X. That's why I did the chorus the way I did. And he, and he was like, no drums. And I was like, I why you. would we not put drums in this shit? And he was like, nah, we on some X shit. I want so it to like, be yeah. like more like you know, some hear emotion. It. Yeah. I want you to feel the the vocals and the, and, the, and the things that's being said. I want you to really feel it rather than trying to feel some bass and just move it. I want you to really hear what's being said. And that's what I feel like capturing in like emotional sad music is like very like, I don't know, nostalgic in a way. Cause when you hear it years from now, you're gonna be like, whoa, like the bass wasn't back in the day or too updated or too out of the whack. Like you just got this straight guitar loop and it's just like, it's, it's perfect, it's pure. Well, let's hear it. You want, you want to airdrop it to me now? Yeah. Is that the first time you guys do like a, a big project together? Yeah. Uh, but cool. we've been on each other's albums, you know. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was about to ask you if you guys know each other for so long. I was wondering why you didn't get. Do you, do you guys have any? I think. I think have... one thing too. I want to say to Trippy fans is like, you know, in response to oh man, Trippy should have had a verse on Lost Boys. Like I'm a Trippy fan too, so I, I said the same thing. Like oh, Trippy should throw a verse on this. This man got a really really strong vision on everything that he does just like i do so i obviously from a fan perspective i'm gonna ask the same questions that they would ask like i want to hear you rap on this too or do whatever and that was that was his decision and his vision with the song and i actually like it oh that's cool the way that you know, so do you guys like, trust each other like that like, like just his how, vision and stuff? how me and x did love like i didn't have a verse on that song it's true you know so i try to be like you know in somewhat the same I was back then. Like, I want to at least, like, want my fans to feel like, oh, this feels like this, and this feels like that. No, of you course. Know? And I feel like that song, it just really didn't need a verse for me. I did, feel like, did you have a verse in Club that got cut or scrapped or not? Nah? You just, you guys never, mm -hmm. no. I just, I did the, the chorus, and then I had went to uh, my homie Hoodie Baby's crib, and I did a little snippet. I was chilling with a girl, I did a little snippet. And then X DM me, he was like, bro, that's that beat. I'm like, yeah, because he literally didn't pick the beat. I'm like, bro, I need this beat. I need this beat. Oh, they gave me the beat. Shit. I'm like, I'm going to Wayne's room. I'm about to cut this. And I went and did it, but then I left. And once he heard it on the net, he like, I need this for my album. It's literally the only feature on the album. It's crazy. Wow. Oh, on 17, right? Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. That album, too. So good. That, that album is what Amazing. I was listening to when I was getting this. Wait, really? Mm hmm that and uh and hurt by Johnny Cash. Mm. Damn. Yeah. I listen to Seventeen like. The album is so good. Back to back to back. Bro. That's the one. Yeah. Trip. I really love Question Mark too though. Same. No, it's a good Same. album too. Because he 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 messes around more too with like yeah, the sounds. Yeah, he's he's, 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 yeah. he's 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 enjoying it. Yeah. Like, I feel like a lot. That's of with Moonlight and Revenge. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah Fire don't look at it like that no more like like know, bro he literally the sampled the bmw car like the noise crazy. when you don't buckle your seatbelt in it was crazy watching like, i love listening to like ynw melly too like he was just like like mm -hmm. he'd get on there like <laughs> singing in that voice but like the song go platinum like, yeah no nah. it's amazing yeah like, you know it's crazy to me trip were you i don't I, I don't know if it was a rumor or not it, this was like when i was in high school were you ever supposed to be on drake's god's plan but you were supposed to be on God's plan. So there's still you still have a verse for that song. I remember this. It's shit. out there somewhere. Yeah, I we probably do shit. have the verse. That's crazy. But it's not finished. It's like a couple bars, and then it's like oh, I'm sick. I had the flu. Oh, you got shit. sick. And then I had a show. I had two shows, but at the same venue, and it was four thousand people back to back. So it was four thousand people in the venue, then four thousand people waiting outside, mm -hmm. and they left out, and then the new four thousand came in, mm. and I did that all sick, and it's like. It's a show that's on the internet, like people watching and shit, but it's just crazy. Like, my DJ, he ended up playing it in New York. Like, he played the song and played it. I love Trippy Red at the beginning. Of that's where show. everyone, yeah. And yeah. then, like, it went super viral, like, mega viral. Like, and then Drake was like, you better finish this verse, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna drop <laughs> it. it and 
I ain't gonna lie, it was like the beginning of my career. So like, Damn. it's like, bro, you gotta un- understand like Drake's like, you feel me? I'm oh like, yeah, now. Nah. Fuck, I'm like, I'm think overthinking and I don't know what to do. Like I'm like, like I'm like, I'm, I don't want to just give them anything and then niggas be like, like, I didn't like that. And then, you know, it just ended up being what it was. Damn. I feel that. I done that too where I'd like giving someone a shot. I did that with Wayne, Drake bro. Cool. What was Wayne? Low Wayne? Um, I gave him a hook one. I, I I gave him a hook. And uh I was like, nah, someone else should send this shit. Damn, that's crazy. You guys you guys probably do that so often, like wherever like you send verses and you you kinda maybe sometimes will like it it'll, it'll just be kinda just like a thing you guys don't even think about. But then okay, so that's my next question. When you guys make music and like your the, your hits you guys have with mm-hmm. millions and millions of views on YouTube for the videos. Do you guys know in the moment when you're recording these songs and they're done that they're hits that they're gonna do this successful? Hell no, bro. That ex's best friend song that I want all those like VMAs and American music. Which one is that one? It's That's a, like I swear, I swear to God, God I never fall in love. Bro, yeah. that wasn't the hook. The hook was a whole different hook oh. and a different tempo. Trippy's on that album too. He we we uh I walked in the studio. I had recorded the beginning of that song on my tour bus. And I walked in and me and Trav were doing the album and I was like, this is one, you know, and he was like, I hate this hook. And the oh hook is the, ba- the, ba- the hook, you're always married to the hook because that's the basis of the of whole Of course, song. that's so the like, catch. When someone's yeah. like, you got to change that, I'd rather change the verse than the hook. So I was like, bro, what the f-? So I went in and like in spite, like out of spite, said the simplest sh- I could think of. I was just like, <laughs> and I like, it on, just on some bratty sh-, you know? Like, yeah. I swear to God, I never fall in love. And I walked out, I'm like, how was that? And he was like, that shit was fire. And I, that song was about to come out. I called the label. I'm like, do not put this song out. Um, Don't put this song out. So you second guessed it. We got, yes. I was like, we got to put this song out. Like, this is true to like what pop punk, like song format is. And it was a song called Concert for Aliens. And they were like, all right, look, you can put that song out first. And then one week later, we're dropping, we're dropping this. The album or whatever it was. No, we're dropping X's best friend. Oh, oh. they, After, like the label yeah. is basically like you can have one and we're gonna have one. So does the label control whenever they want to drop? It I think not. Music? Not at this point when you're like at my level where you're where you've been, had a relationship with you know my label is Interscope. I've had a relationship with them for ten fucking years. Yeah. When Jimmy Iovine was in the building, I didn't really have that relationship. When John Janet took over, he was someone who he started fueled by Ramen, which was like Paramore and Twenty One Pilots and all of them. Yeah. And he wanted to sign me before I was with. Interscope. So when he got on and became president, he was stoked and he was like, "All right, yeah, like MGK is priority." Now. Wow. And so because of that, I mean, I have a lot of freedom. You know what I mean? Like mm. in, in that in that sense. But do you have a lot of songs that like you think we're gonna we're not that good or whatever, or you weren't really proud of, and they did way way better than you thought they would? Yeah, I have a song that I never play in concert that might be one of my biggest songs, and I just which one? I don't even want to say. Oh, that's that's good. I like that. I like it. That's a good answer. I mean, you know, like we always you, yeah, every time, bro. I I. Never should have been on camera before I was 26, 27. You know what I mean? Like, I had a... I I wish that, you know, to me, my career starts at Hotel Diablo. That's an album where, like, that came out, I don't know, 2018, 2019. Like, to me, that's where my voice became my voice. But do you think the early stages are, like, an important part of the process, though? Like, a belly block? My first song I heard by you was Till I Die. Sick. I, I love, love that, that song. song. See, see, that's where I'm, I'm already wrong because that song came out in 2015 and I love that song. It's such a good song. Yeah. Yeah. It's. I, I used to play. I told you I used to play NBA 2K, and that, whenever I'd load up my 2K, I would hear it like, every day. So yeah. it's just like I just that song. And if if you play 2K, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I think it was 16 or 17. Yeah. But yeah, that, yeah, it was great. And that video, we squashed like a really big beef in the city, like in that video. Oh, you know nice. So yeah. Was just... Oh, was 16? Yeah. And when the Cavs won the championship, that was like the. You know, oh, that that's was, right. Like, the theme, the, the theme of the show. Yeah. How often does that happen? Where like. Uh, you you ask for a feature, you you do a verse, and it doesn't go in, and it doesn't you don't make it in. Is this, is it like often? I feel like I hear that all the time. Do a lot of artists do that with you guys? Well, you record a verse, and it never it never goes on the, on the song, and it's like a waste. Uh, not really. Interesting. I had a I had a verse on like an Ariana single one back in the day. I forgot which one. Ariana Grande. Yeah. Mm. Not no more. I learned that through the Drake thing. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I got to complete everything right yeah, as it gets yeah, to yeah. it. I got you. 